back to another special episode of Easy As That. In today's video, we're going to be reviewing and showing you how to put together the Anco Wi-Fi Full HD Video Doorbell with a Chime. So without further ado, let's open it. First up here, we have the instructions, which we won't use much of because I'll be explaining everything in today's video. Next, we have the doorbell itself with its case. Then we have its charger. Then we also have the chime that plays a sound when this doorbell is rung. Allen keys and screws and other stuff just to get it on your wall. Before going any further, here are five things that you should know. Firstly, not all Wi-Fi networks are compatible with this doorbell. But I wouldn't worry because most are, but if you are unsure, go into the description and have a look for yourself. The second point that you should also be aware of is that you must have Wi-Fi or internet access where you want to put your doorbell. Thirdly, if you would like to keep all the recordings of people that have came to your house, you are going to need a micro SD card that is not included with the doorbell. I will show you how to install this later. Number four, on the front of the package, it says that the resolution that the live feed coming from the doorbell is at 1080p. This is HD. However, the quality differs of how far your phone is from the doorbell. Our last good thing to know is that this camera has IP54 water resistance. This means you don't have to worry too much if it starts to rain and your doorbell is out in the open. Now let's get started on actually setting up the device. What we need to do now is download the app that controls this doorbell. To get the app, all you need to do is go into your app store, hit search and type in Myrabella Genio. This is what the app should look like. Once you've found it, download it. Now, once your app has started downloading to kill some time, we're just gonna um, fix the batteries in this. These are rechargeable. You stick the charger in and they do charge, but you're going to need to open it up and take out this little plastic bit. So, we'll open this up. Okay, once you've done that, all you're going to need to do is take off this plastic bit. Same with this. Now, you need to leave the tape in between the batteries just there. If you want to install a micro SD card, you can. All that will really do is just save the images and videos of people that came to your front door. Alright, so now what you're going to want to do is just take out these batteries. Only do this if you want to put in a micro SD card. Otherwise, just leave them in. All right, now what you want to do is just insert the micro SD card into that little hole just there. So facing this way, I'm just going to slip it in, give it a bit of a push, and there you go. Now just plop your batteries back in, make sure they have these little red markings here, make sure they align with these markings here, and do this flat end first. Come in, there you go, your SD card is now fully installed. By now, your app should have probably downloaded and we can get into setting up the doorbell online. Okay, now once we're in the app, what you're going to need to do is create an account or register. You should agree to their privacy policy, but if you would like, you can read it. All you need to do now is click Add Device, then go to Security and Sensor and then click Smart Camera. In the top right hand corner, click Other Mode. Then click Smart Configuration. Wake up your doorbell by clicking the doorbell button. Then click Next Step. From here, all you need to do is put in the password for the Wi-Fi network that you are on. Now, your doorbell will start to connect with your device. Wait patiently as it does this. 
You should hear a sound like that. And if that sound played, that means that your process of pairing is nearly done. Now, if this is taking a long time, I recommend putting your iPad or phone and doorbell next to your modem. Now your doorbell should be blue. This is a sign that it is all finished. Now, any second, it should go all the way to 100 and there should be multiple ticks on the screen. There, you've finished pairing your device. All you need to do now is click done. From here, it, you can do multiple actions. You can speak, you can record, you can take photos, and you can play back other times when people are at your door, as long as you have an SD card installed. Awesome. Now, if you'd like to hear the people at your door, just click the unmute button on the screen. Now, if you click the doorbell button on your doorbell, you should get an incoming call from the doorbell and then you'll also get a notification, just like this. If your app is not pairing with your doorbell, it is probably because you do not have location services turned on. In order to pair them, you must turn location services on. Okay, now we're going to install the wireless chime. When your doorbell is rung, this will play a little song or a tune from your PowerPoint without you having to look at your phone. Now, let's set this up. All you need to do is grab your chime and take out this little USB bit at the back. It can be a bit tricky. Now, you need to get your standard phone charger that plugs in and pop it in and then get this and stick it in there. It should look like this or your light might be red, it depends. Now also please remember that the chime doesn't work if you unplug it from the PowerPoint. Now you've got your chime already, here's something you should probably know. On the back of your chime there is a little button and it says reset. Click this button when I tell you in a few minutes because it is very important. All you need to do now is just go into your doorbell and click the three little dots in the top right hand corner. In this menu, you should see something that says bell settings. Click on it, then click wireless chime. Now, all you need to do is click the back button and then click the reset button I showed you just a couple of seconds ago. So click the back button and then click reset. Now, go into ring settings and click add. Now, if you click your doorbell, your chime should ring. There you go. And there are lots of ringtones to choose from. Try them out yourself. Okay, now we're up to the second last step. For this step, we're just going to be connecting everything together. First up, let's put the battery cover back on our doorbell. You're going to need a screwdriver for this, which is not included. Now your battery case is on, you can pack up all your screws and stuff and take them to where you want to install your doorbell because that is the last and next step. Okay, now we're back to the part where we actually install our doorbell. So here's how we do it. These two holes have already been pre-drilled for me because this is a brick wall. But if you would like, you can use your own screwdriver to do it yourself at the very time and these are just the things that come with it and you just drill them in then we're going to attach our doorbell to them like I will in a minute all right now making sure this covered bit is facing up we're going to install it see up here we're going to line this up and put our screw right into where we drilled and then screw it in 
Now what you need to do is do it again, just here. Now we're going to install the doorbell. So we're going to grab our small screw with a round top and we're going to put it right underneath there with our doorbell like this. To do this, you can use your own screwdriver, which I find a lot easier, or the Allen key that came with it. All right, what we want to do now is just put the screw in the bottom and then screw it up. Okay, now we're going to just ring the doorbell and we're going to see if it all works. There's our chime and our notification should be popping up soon. Now, if you don't get a notification or your LED light up here is flashing red, it's either because your doorbell doesn't have internet access or because you just need to take it out and reset the batteries by popping them in and out again. And now you're done. Your video doorbell is all set up and ready to use. All right, and now it's time for the review. So by all means, if you want a video doorbell, yeah, this is a great option, but maybe try and find something a bit cheaper and maybe even a bit easier to use because it was extremely hard to set up. But I highly recommend keeping the receipt because one day it might just not work and you're going to need to return it or else you've just lost $99. But definitely the most important thing before you go and buy this is definitely make sure you have good internet access where you want to put this doorbell because you don't want to spend all that money just to find out that you don't have internet connection at your door. This is why I'm giving the doorbell a 3 out of 5 stars or a 6 out of 10. Guys, if anything didn't work in this video, please feel free to comment in the comment section it didn't work because I'll get back to you ASAP and I'll fix the problem right away. Also, please let me know if this did work for you as it is really helpful. So this is easy as out.